Hi friends, in today's session we are going to learn about the adjustment to final accounts in relation to provision for discount on datas. In our previous videos we have already learnt 8 adjustments. If you have not watched those videos, I am giving the link of the videos in the description below. Please do watch the same. You can also click the card above to have a look into the entire playlist relating to adjustments in final accounts. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get instant notifications. Please do share this to your friends for whom this may be useful. Before learning how to account for provision for discount on datas, let us first learn what is the meaning of the same. In our previous video itself, we learned the meaning of provision in detail, where we saw that provision is an amount set aside to cover a probable future expense or a reduction in the value of an asset. Our current topic for discussion that is provision for discount on debtors comes under the first criteria that is an amount set aside to cover a probable future expense. Here the future expense is the estimated discounts which needs to be allowed to debtors. Why does a business entity allows discount to the debtors? A business entity allows discount to its debtors in order to recover the amount receivable from them within the due date. Therefore, at the end of the year, we make provision for the next year losses due to discount allowed. This provision is made based on the past experiences. As we saw in the previous video, provision will be created by debiting the profit and loss account. Now, let us learn the journal entry for recording the provisions for discount on datas. The journal entry is Profit and loss account debit to provision for discount on debtors account. This provision for discount on debtors will be created only on good debtors which is arrived at after deducting further bad debts and provision for doubtful debts. Let us have an illustration to understand this better. Let us consider creating a provision for discount on debtors amounting to rupees 1000. Therefore, the journal entry for that would be profit and loss account debit rupees 1000 to provision for discount on data's account rupees 1000. Now let us look into the impact of the same in the profit and loss account and balance sheet. So this is the profit and loss account. Here you can see we are debiting provision for discount on data's rupees 1000. As a result the net profit comes down by rupees 1000. In the balance sheet provision for discount on data's is shown as a deduction in data's. As a result, now the debtors amount to rupees 1,60,500. Therefore, in the asset side, there is a reduction of rupees 1000. In the liability side, rupees 1000 gets reduced as a result in the reduction of net profit. Therefore, the balance sheet gets tallied. In the balance sheet, we show provision for discount on debtors as a deduction from debtors to show the expected realizable value of debtors. In the subsequent year, the discount allowed will be adjusted with the provision created only. This account will be treated in the same manner how we treated the provision for doubtful debts account. If you have missed the video on adjustment for provision for doubtful debts, I am giving the link of the same in the card above. Please watch the same to know more about that concept. If you are facing difficulty with respect to any topic, please do leave it as a comment below. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications. Let's make accounting simple.